Hello everybody, welcome to Energy Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining us for this review, which is this one. This is Dragon Stout. It's a Jamaican stout coming at 7.5% ABV. I paid £2 for this at a local um, convenience store. It is 284 millilitres. Which, if my basic mass is correct, is half a pint. So half a pint of stout. It sounds like something my grandma might have ordered, actually. Oh, we've got some malty aromas. I've been to Jamaica. I don't remember seeing stout. I've been seeing a lot of red stripe back in the day, but no ooh, little dribble, but no stout. So I'm interested to see what uh, what this is like. I've never seen this. I've heard about this. Never actually seen it before. So, in the glass, that is pretty dark. That is, there's not a lot of light. There's a little, tiny little bit of light. Very, very dark. And a lovely, creamy looking tan head. It's got, it does seem to have a fair bit of carbonation there. Which I'm a little bit surprised about. I didn't think it'd have so much. Let's get a snifter, shall we? It's got the aromas there, to be fair. You are getting the roasted malts through. A little bit of coffee. It does smell. It does smell a bit boozy. It does smell more than 7.5%. And it's got more than a sort of hint it's like cough medicine I'm expecting it to be quite sweet it smells, smells too fair though it smells all right I'm not dissing the smell it smells all right um right say shall we cheers everybody still bank all the weekend this is great Yeah, hope you're enjoying your your Monday. It has got a little bit of a cough medicine flavour to it. A bit better. Yeah, it's got a bit of a cough medicine flavour to it. Um, but the other flavours are there. It's got that roasted malts in there. It's got a little bit of um, oh, like a milky coffee flavour. It is fairly sweet. It's not overly sweet. There's a little bit of caramel coming through on there. A little hint of chocolate perhaps. Yeah, a little bit of more on the first swig than the others, but on the first one, definitely got a little warming uh, licorice through. Now, now, whether my taste buds have just got used to that, and I'm not see, I'm not feeling it as much. But there was a little bit of a warming licorice um, flavouring there as well. almost got this chocolate little chocolate coming through it and it's almost mixing with the coffee it's almost coming through as a little bit mocha do you know what it's all right um it smelt boozy but there's really no hint of um, Boozedness in the flavour. It's it's sweet. It, it's really creamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sweet. It's creamy. It's quite drinkable. 
that is quite drinkable. Uh, if, if, yeah, I could probably down a few of those quite easily because um, it has got a really easy drinking vibe to it. Um, it lacks a little bit of body. It lacks a little bit of the... I don't particularly like to get into the styles of beers because people... Um, whilst beers are officially judged on style and, and what they like, I like brewers that push the boundaries a little bit. So I'll very rarely say, well, full of style, you know, it's not quite right. Full of style, it isn't quite right, but I'm not going to mark it down for it. You know, I'd, I would expect a little bit more roastiness to it. A bit, maybe a bit stronger coffee and or chocolate. But it does, it does really well, if I'm being honest with it, with you. And I actually do quite like it. I'm going to score that 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 from Managed Beer Views, whatever you're drinking tonight. Please enjoy it. Um, comment if you've had this before. A lot of you will have had this before. I'll be interested in your thoughts and how you've scored it. And we'll be checking in on um, Untapped off this, just see um, how friends have scored it, if they've had it. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But more importantly, until the next review, cheers everybody.